There are three things we would like to advocate for children to be safe online. Number one is access to information. We have to be able to educate the children on how they can navigate themselves freely, safely, and securely online by giving them pointers, uh, helping them, aiding them with ways to be more effective and how to behave effectively online. The second is to help them inspire others. Using their energy and enthusiasm online, we can also teach the children to inspire their community and help create a positive impact. The third is we have a lot of excellent tools online where they can interact, share their stories, share ways on how the internet is also helping them. The best defense that children and young people have to any and all challenges that are presented to them is their own knowledge, their own resilience, and their creativity. The internet is now an integral part of our modern world. Thus, our education systems need to ensure that from an early age, every child knows how to be safe online. This implies that all educators who work with children are themselves aware of internet safety issues so that they both teach good practice and model it in their everyday work. In educating children how to be safe online, civil society and high-tech industries have hugely important roles to play. However, at the end of the day, to achieve this education at scale, in other words, for all children, we need to think about internet safety in the same way that we think about things like road safety or public health. And here, the state is and has to be the primary duty bear. One of the key things we learned from our Generation 2000 report, which was based on studying the online habits and literacies of 13 and 14 year olds across Wales, was the need to really listen and understand young people's experiences, whether it was social media use or how they use technologies for socialising or schoolwork, and to understand what the gaps might be. And I think involving young people in online safety education as experts of their own internet use is absolutely key. I think to recognise that some groups are more vulnerable online and there isn't going to be a one-size-fits-all solution. And the more we can think about what makes particular vulnerable groups more vulnerable online, the more likely we are to be able to think about how we might intervene. The technology is only the gateway. I think it's understanding what drives behaviour, what you know, uh, young people understand as risky, why might they be willing to take certain risks online? And looking at it more holistically, I think we will be able to design better solutions. <music>